Hello, my name is Hannah Dubay and I am doing the video project on critical thinking question number five. And the question is, is in your view, what are the consequences of non-voting? And I will explain in this video on what I believe are the consequences or the not consequences of voting um, or non-voting in America today. Um, so what I put is the way I see it, people should go out and vote. However, I also do not believe there are consequences for not voting either, but I do believe there are regrets for not voting as well. Let me explain. We as a United States are free and have the chance and opportunity to put who we want in our office and our government and who runs it. As a citizen of the United States, it is our job and one of our responsibilities as citizens is to go out and vote for who we want in office or in our government. There is news all the time on more and more ignorance and views people have, people's voices and opinions not being heard, and chaos happening. If you have an opinion or you, we want something to change in our society or government, or if you want your voice and your opinion to matter, then in my opinion, the best way is to go out and vote and let your voice be heard. Um, because one vote can make a tremendous difference on who is going to win or who is not going to win. Um, there are also so many things happening in the United States today that um, I think no one ever predicted to happen. Also, many things are changing in our government as well. Um, people do a lot of talking, but they do nothing to change it, like I said before. and. Also, um, half of them don't even vote either. Um, we complain and see no action, but we are not willing to perform the action to see changes. Um, and also deciding not to vote can cause lack of efficiency and it causes no part uh, civic participation at any level. And the people that don't vote is that they don't believe that the gov government listens to people like them and they also believe that their vote act doesn't actually matter and um, exits across the social and economic spectrum, but more so in poor people. So um, it's more broad in the spectrum of poor people than is anyone. So that's what I believe in. That is my explanation.